Okay, everybody, this is part two of the res review. Uh, I almost should treat this as a separate game because it really is totally new res. I know it's billed as just a separate area. There are five areas in res, and this is like the sixth area, but they don't call it that because it is different. It's still res, but it's not area six, it's area X. And I've already played a little bit of this, and it got me pretty excited. I had to force myself to stop. It was that good. It's super, super immersive. So here you choose, you know, if you want to play the original one, and here you see the original five uh, areas that I've already played. If you want to see that video, I'll put a link somewhere up there. I think there's a little eye in the corner that you can click on, and you can uh, go to the other video. But this one is going to focus solely on area X. And I played the other one with the move controller. It just uses one, but because I'm using the headset to track, I didn't really feel like I needed to use it. Um, this one actually has controls that allow you to move forward and backward, as opposed to areas one through five in regular res, where you just always moved forward. Um, so in this one, you actually can move forward and backward and use the R1 and L, the R1 and R2 buttons to go forward and backward. And you can still use the analog left stick to aim, but uh, I prefer to use the head mounted display or the head mounted unit here. The um, head tracking is, I think, so much more immersive and accurate because when you use the analog stick, you are limited to the speed of the uh, motion of the reticle due to the game constraints. But when you're using the headset to track, if you flick quickly your reticle moves really quickly and plus it just feels better to be looking at what you're trying to shoot instead of kind of looking in whatever way and just aiming in a slightly different way so this one uh, allows two different kinds of play I didn't try traveling it looks like you just can kind of goof around in area X uh, this one is more game like so that's the one we're gonna choose I have not played it all the way through I have not finished it I'm not even sure that I can finish it. I don't know how difficult it is a uh, res the original res isn't that difficult, so I imagine if it keeps in line with that, it shouldn't be too much of a problem for me to finish, given that I've already completed the original res anyway. So there is a lot of load time here, and first thing you'll notice is there are a lot of particles in res, uh, or in area X as opposed to res. Uh, res was more vector graphics. Uh, this one is a lot of particles, and it looks amazing. So I guess it's not going to give me the training here because I've already done it. So what it used to say, hmm, I guess I should have done it, should have recorded before. If you hit R1, you go forward, and if you hit R2, you go backwards, and wherever I track with my head is wherever I look. So another thing you might notice there, you see that little uh, bluish aquamarine, whatever. Oh, it just kind of, oh, it's coming around to, to me. Uh, it basically, that's an area of interest. So if I look away long enough, I bet it follows me. But you can just look back toward it. It was following me. Uh, if you see, see, it's more. The more blue it is, um, the further you have to turn. There's also a pink slash red area that is going to be for the enemies that are attacking you. So that's important to note. So we're going to go ahead and then uh, walk onto this. Same as you do with regular res. I just hold down X and let it go. Oh, and it's. I don't know what I'm doing this. Kind of opened up. Kind of the same premise as before. You just look on, look on the object you want to lock onto, and and then hold down X, and it locks onto them. And when you let go of X, let go, it attacks them in a musical fashion. So the first thing you're going to notice here is that, um, see, I forgot. You have to. I'm not sure if you have to, but you control your forward and backward motions. So I can like back up here. See, I'm kind of going backwards. Um, as opposed to res, where you just always move forward. So it takes a little getting used to. I was going to upgrade me a little bit more solid now. Or actually, it looks like I went to wireframe. So none of these things here are attacking me. It's not yet. Maybe if I give him a chance they will, but... Oh, 
Boy, that was fun the other thought. Boy, and it just looks just so beautiful. So immersive. It, it's just... The 2D graphics you're looking at right now don't even come even close to doing this game justice. It just, it's, oh my, the fluidity and all those particles just all over the place. It almost makes it so that the, uh, the lower resolution of the headset doesn't matter so much in this game because there's so many little particles everywhere. It's not like you're looking at sharply defined objects. I kind of wish I had recorded my initial reaction to these stages because I feel like the first time you see this, it's just, just awe-inspiring. Mizuguchi, the creator of Raz, I read a little interview with him about how he always envisioned this being a VR game or being more than what it was. Maybe he didn't necessarily know it should have been VR, but that he felt confined. And now he feels more free. So this level, I think, is more, or this area is more indicative of what he envisioned. You know what? I'm not even moving forward. So I don't know if moving forward is really required. Maybe more for the free roaming level. I'm going to try to move forward some. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. You get really close to stuff. Holy cow. Okay. Um. I need to get away from this thing. Holy cow. Okay. Now I want to see what moving forward does to you. Gets you closer to the action, and that... Wow. Where am I going here? Oh, goodness. Wow. Holy cow. Everywhere. Seems like having the ability to move around gives a little bit more leeway in escaping your enemies. Ooh. I'm basically just gunning it the whole time. Let me back up a little bit. The pink stuff is bad. I can kind of just stay with it. Wow. Looks like I've evolved again. Ooh. Almost. I feel enlightened almost. Wow. Oh my. Bad guy someplace. I feel like I have so much more freedom in this game. I think being, I'm sitting down? 
but like being in a swivel chair I think is imperative. Still kind of limited by the wires though. Let's get close to it. Let's get really close. I'm right up on it. Holy cow. Went through it. What am I looking for? Get back up. If you ever played Luminous, this is uh kind of reminds you of it. Same same people, Q Entertainment. I used to love Luminous. Hey, did you always have to start from the beginning? I don't understand what I'm supposed to be looking for. So let me look away, and that says lower left-hand corner, down this way. What are we doing? Oh, this. I didn't think to look down. Wow. Seems to be happening kind of leisurely. Uh, it says below. It's gotta be that, right? Yeah. You all have to try this. Even if you don't buy a VR or buy rep you if you buy a VR you have to buy rep. You if you are not or have not bought res or played res on your VR, uh, you are wasting your PlayStation VR. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Did I, did I get hit? My bad, guys. Wow. Death Star or something. Oh crap, they're below me. This game does more above and below than... ...any other game. I feel like I'm gonna shake my, uh, headset off. further something is, the more I notice the low resolution. I guess because the closer I get, the more the particle effects come into play. Let's go this way. Whoa, okay. Okay, let me back up. I think I'm... I don't have to shoot these things? Just 
gorgeous. PlayStation medals or something are popping up. Trophies or whatever they're called. Oh god, can't get this guy. Got him. See her face. Can I come around? Yes, I can. Right in the heart. Why is it ever an ugly woman? Not that I'm complaining, I'm just wondering why. Doesn't happen often, but I'm actually kind of speechless. There's a mode that allows you to just play without having to worry about getting hit or dying. I just kind of want to explore.
so happy. Oh man, it's gonna get bad now. Oh, that was it. Well, <clears throat> yeah, that was pretty amazing. It wasn't very hard. I mean, I didn't really do anything other than hold down the go forward button and uh, make sure I shot relatively often. But wow, yeah, can I fly around? I can. But let's not get to her. Should suggest a beard there. Let's go around. Just amazing. Get next time one of these butterflies. Wow. You really don't get the sense of scale. Go for until you put this headset on. Kyoko! So famous, she just goes by her name. Kyoko! It's a pretty common Japanese girl's name. Mark McDonald's? Okay. Make four, probably. Oh. Maybe a little dizzy. So both the res games, the area X and the regular res games, kind of gotten to me because, oh, what is this? You are born again, savor your existence. Until the journey can begin in you. I just from all the head movement, just kind of shaking your head vigorously for, you know, 10, 15, 20 minutes and see if you don't get a little woozy. Let's be hitting the X button, which is the shoot button. Wow, that was that was pretty amazing. Huh. I guess I could have done a little better. All right. Wow. So yeah, um, if you didn't see my whoa, but I'm there, snapped a different direction. If you uh, didn't see my grade that I gave Res without even playing Area X, I gave it an A. With Area X, I think it's an A+. Honestly, it is amazing. I don't know. That this is like tops for PlayStation VR right now. Um, could there be better? I, yeah, I guess. But they'll also be A+, too, if they get better than this. Because this experience was just amazing. It was not that long. But honestly, uh, PlayStation VR games probably aren't going to be that long. You can't really wear this thing for too long, especially those ones those games that want you to stand all the time but uh, I want to see what this traveling thing is real quick if you can hear that noise it's uh, outside they're picking up the garbage it's pretty loud I'm pretty sure the mic can pick it up maybe it's the same game you just just don't die. Not that I, I never really felt like I was in danger of dying. Sorry, time I hit X. Yeah, it looks like it's the same game. Except you don't die. So this is me playing. You can actually play with the analog sticks as well. Um, even though the headset's on. You can do both. It kind of goes crazy. So I'm going to try to look left and push right. It kind of doesn't know what to do. Oh, uh, weird. Now my reticle is all the way to the right. Okay. So if you recenter it, then it's okay. But I put it all the way down. That's it, like really low. 
Alright, so it looks like it's the same thing, you just probably can't die. And again, like, maybe I felt pressure to shoot things and I wouldn't if I was playing traveling mode, but yeah, I don't think there's anything, anything new in this. So anyway, yeah, that was uh, Res Infinite. If you have a PlayStation VR, go buy it. It's 30 bucks, totally worth it. Uh, it comes with a full Res game, uh, plus Area X, which you just saw. And even if you just saw me play through all of Res and all of Area X, I still recommend that you download it. Download it if and again, it's only downloadable for now. There's supposed to be a uh, hard copy version that's available at 8-bit something, play 8-bit or 8-bit something. I don't remember. Um, if you search for Res, uh, not hard copy, Res, what's it called? Uh, retail copy or uh, disc form or whatever, you'll be able to find it. Uh, but it's ten dollars more if you want it on disc. Uh, also, a cool thing about it is uh, if you go to that site that sells the the hard disc or the disc version, the retail disc version, then you can also pick up some other Res merchandise. If you're really into Res, you can buy uh, their the soundtrack, and they even have it on LP, and they're really cool looking, uh, colored, and they have different uh, the different forms of the Res dude that you are, and the different LP covers. It's it's, it's really cool, but it's like 80 bucks, so you got to be a hardcore res guy to be uh, to buying that stuff. I don't even know if I would buy that stuff. But anyway, uh, 30 bucks, 40 bucks hard copy if you can still get it. Uh, it's due out in November sometime. Uh, totally worth it. A plus in my opinion. The best game I've played so far in the PlayStation VR. Uh, very highly recommended. Okay, well, uh, I think that I got a new game coming to me today. Robinson something or other. The Journey, I think it's called. So look forward to that. That should be coming up pretty soon. All right. Thanks for watching.